to help ease the pain and loneliness, them being so far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. <sighs> well, turns out this guy swindled us into becoming his opium peddler, so I feel kind of silly. Um, so the idea here is that we need to give him a thousand dollars. There is no getting around that. It's what comes after is what we can kind of manipulate and work it into our own favor, and this was one of my favorite things to do back in the old days. However, there is a law enforcer of the law right there, which might make things a little bit difficult, but here, Mr. Tollitz, you didn't deserve it, but fuck you. Here, I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I thank you. Here's hoping we can do business again in the future. Beats dealing with the bloody savages. Okay. Is there something else I can do for you? Perhaps. I'll be off then. You're making the place look untidy. Oh, my bad. You just said that we could do business together, but then you went and backpedaled pretty much immediately after that. Okay. So if I can get these doors shut <laughs> with my body. Oh, and also you can leave as well, sir. That would work. This is going to be much more difficult than I thought, isn't it? Uh, okay, can we... Mm, okay. Well, this is the plan of action that I would like to incur. A while back in a little place called Thebes Landing, we went and procured ourselves a nice piece of fabric known as the bandana. And we put that on and nobody will be able to recognize us. It's the perfect disguise. If I'm not mistaken, our business is done here. Why it is, but just let me close this door real fast. Uh, if I can't, I can't close it. <laughs> well... We gotta conceal our dirty actions here one way or another. Because I would like to walk away with some cash. But we need to make sure to do it quietly. So, what we're going to do... Hmm... Is either... Knife him? Or lasso him? Let's knife him. Whew. No, we should probably lasso him first. I want to take him somewhere nice and, nice and tidy. And quiet, where nobody is bound to see us. Okay, so this wasn't me. I did not do this. I promise. I know as sketchy as it looks. <laughs> you don't got to worry about a thing. <laughs> oh God, could you imagine if I just started knifing him and he just walks and he's like, uh, <laughs> "Shit." <laughs> okay, so now we need to go take our victim somewhere where he won't be seen, because unfortunately, uh, <laughs> it is. But there's not a whole lot we could do to prolong our level of businesses so I'm gonna leave you right over here if that's okay good sir and I'm sorry but gotta put you down asshole actually you know what I think I need to cut him free <laughs> he won't have his weapon on him anymore <laughs> Christ on a bicycle there we go oh how did they know oh my trespasses that's not good so let me loot him, and I'll run away. There we go. <laughs> Escaping off of rooftops and shit. <laughs> okay, well, shit. Warwick, it's time to leave this place. They want five dollars. <laughs> they saw me commit a heinous crime, but not the one that they thought it was. Shit. I hurt myself. Oh god, can I not get up? Okay, they don't seem to have fouled me. I fell in a ravine, and I took care of myself for them. Warwick, we must make our escape. Ooh. Also, you might notice that I have quite a bit more money, and that's because I went back and actually looted that nun. I robbed her so I can get a lot more cash, because if I have to give her ten, I want something in return, damn it. And because, well, of the multitude of things, we only got 500 out of that, so I wanted to make it worth our while, if at all possible. So our bounty is $5 as it stands, but you know what? I don't really care because I want to kind of get rid of some some uh, pardon letters. And it kind of seems like we need to do a DeSantos mission. So we'll probably need to return to Escalera. So we'll set that about right there and uh, wait for our bounty to go down a little bit. And I'm going to wait until we're well out of eye shot <laughs> before we... Uh, take off our bandana. Our perfect disguise. There we go. Hooray, we finally have a bounty of five dollars to our hands. Whoever would have guessed. I don't know how they would think it was me, but there we go. Go and take that off. And our bounty is still there. 
Which I guess is okay. Can I not pay it back in Escalera? See, the point of the bounty is so that... Or not the bounty. Of the bandana was so that we didn't get this nonsense. Apparently we still hold on to it, but that's okay. It's $5 for trespassing out of the 500 we looted off that guy. It's literally a 100% increase. Uh, so we'll go ahead and travel. It would be ridiculous if I couldn't pay it off in Escaleta, right? Or am I just a dummy? Whew. How's it going? Uh, DeSantis apparently is way over there. And wait a minute. Okay, I do stop my bounty, but I can do it. It's just too late in the night. Alright, it's time to do some more Mexican army stuff while dressed in my awesome thievery bollard gang outfit, I think it was. Oh, que tal? Como estas? Yeah, my son. How you doing? Eres your own maricón! Me das asco! Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente! Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, da, 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 da. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now you head there and you lend your support. <sighs> No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. <laughs> we will meet them there. Fantastic. So let's go head over there, shall we? I this yeah. is going to be extremely exciting. I can feel it. All right, Desanta, are you ready? I really hope you are, because we got the demon drink to contend with. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. 
Men printing and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. And it's impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're already late. Come on. Let's see if you can race. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I, I guess we're racing now. And he doesn't realize that I am beasting him it, with Warwick. So, <laughs> peace out, bitch. <laughs> Ah, oh, fantastic. Gotta love these horse races, just, you know, having some fun before the battle. It's like, well, if we die here today, I can, you know, die knowing that I beat this asshole in getting here first. Ah, uh, so Tesoro Azul, and also, ooh, Sidewinder Gulch. We're going to have to come over here later and probably do some stuff. I need to find another outlaw to kill. Usually there's one hanging out over here, and that one I think is probably one of the hardest, because if he runs away, you're pretty much fucked. Especially if Warwick can't find her way over to you. So, we'll just continue along here. It's like, I hope I'm going the right way. Ah, here we go. Gunshots. This must be where we're needed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a little unnecessary. Holy shit. Santa, por qué tardaste tanto? ¿Quién es este gringo? Octavio, por favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. <sighs> All right, so I stopped my knife out. <laughs> All right, let's get our Sir Henry motherfucker out. Sorry, didn't mean to. This is quite a town. Also, how, how dare you? How dare you just run across town with oof, thinking you're safe and oh jeez, this is bad. You're on this, on the roof. Shit. <laughs> it's gonna get some cover here real fast. <laughs> oof. Man. Alright, so this guy right here. Hey! Friend! Come poke your face out just for a moment. I promise I will do you no harm. Or maybe he's just gonna wait there. There's lots of really small nooks and crannies where people will be able to see you through this desolated town, so... Try to be a little bit on the safe side. Also, do not murder your Mexican compadres, otherwise... You might be S.O.L. Hold on, hold on. Sawed off? Yeah, we'll take the sawed off. This guy right here. I don't know where he is. Ooh, shit's exploding all over the place. <laughs> oh, is that a... that's a bad guy, right? It's hard to tell. Maybe. Oh yeah, he was he was definitely bad. <laughs> Oof, there we go. Bunch of people hanging out over there. You, you do not get to run away. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Typically, most people with a hat will be good guys. And by good guys, I use that term very loosely because it's the Mexican army. <laughs> I can't, I don't, are you good? Oh god, you're shooting me through a barrel. How, how dare you? However, this man, very clearly a, an evil person. <laughs> Muertos! Everybody, 